Greetings, this is Copper Cable and Connectors, Module 2 from Comtia Network Plus. We're working on Lab 228, connecting a cable modem. This is Alex, being your host, and I'm um, guiding you through this tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started with this lab. We have a scenario here, and we have some of the components. We have a PC and some network connections. Let's read the scenario. You are working on a small network in your home. You have just signed for cable internet access for the network. The cable company has installed the line in your home and has given you a pre-configured modem for your network. This configured modem should be available right here in our shelf. So we have a bunch of cables and we have one router. All the connectors on the wall plate are for the one. You don't have a LAN connection inside your home. Okay, so there is no LAN connection. That means we're going to access the one connection through these uh, connectors in red. The blue connectors are for telephone. So connect the components to make the internet connection. Add the cable modem router to the workspace. So we're going to bring it right here. Connect the modem to the one connection on the cable with the least amount of signal loss. So we're going to go into the back of this one. And we can see that we have one RJ45 connector. So we need to grab a cable, and we have two Ethernet cables here. We have coaxial cable, coaxial cable, and what we need is connect the modem to the one connection using the cable with the least amount of signal loss. So we're going to connect a we're going to get the cable and we're going to get an RJ6, R, RG6 cable. RG6 cable, this is the one. This is the coaxial cable connection. Let's take a look at the details and this is the type of connection we want. Right? The connector type is a bayonet to steam. And this is the connection we need to connect to the modem right here. So we're going to select this cable. We're going to plug it in here. Of course, we don't have to twist it because uh, this is a virtual environment. And then we're going to select the connection right here on the wall plate. OK. And then connect the computer to the cable modem using a one, 10 and 100 Ethernet connection. So now we can use an Ethernet cable. There's two of them, and we're going to use one connection here. And we're going to use one connection for the computer. We need to show the back. We have a integrated network card. And we have another network here, but this is not a network card. What this is, this is an RJ40, RJ11 connector. This is a modem. This is an older PC. We have a modem. This one also has a video card. We can see the cable TV video card. We can see audio channel connection, video S video connection the RCA connection, and then we have the line out and remote connection. This is the audio card. So we just need to connect to the network card right here. 
Once we connect the network car, we're going to use the AC power adapter to connect to the modem. And the AC power adapter is going to be connected to the modem right here. So we're going to select the connector for the adapter, and then we're going to select the connector for the power outlet. And then we're going to bring it to the front. And we can see the light activity is already in place. We have power, we have link activity is sending and receiving, and the cable signal is also live. So with that, we can always check the computer also, and we can see that activity is reflecting in our computer network card. Okay, so the last thing we need to do here is to check in Windows Use the network and internet settings to confirm that the home PC is properly connected to the internet. So we launch Windows and we come to the network and internet settings. We click on the Ethernet and we can see that we have the automatic configuration and an IP has been given to our computer with the DNS servers in detail. In this lab, the modem was pre-configured with the correct settings to make the connection to the internet provider. Okay, so this is how you get a modem pretty much. And when you buy your own modem, you have to call the ISP provider to get the MAC address of your modem so they can send a connection on their end. With this, the lab is completed, and then we're going to go ahead and score the lab. The score is given, and this is the end of this lab. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.